Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about muzzle flashes. And muzzle, you can do muzzle flashes. Um, you can go watch a better video, probably a better video, on Army of Toys channel. Or Arm, Army of Toys channel, his channel. So, just kind of wanted to show you my attempt. Um, what Army of Toys did that didn't he didn't really explain was how is your flame... <laughs> How is your flamethrower guy that you just make going to stand unless you do this? So what I did was I kind of hot glued some tin foil to the bottom of the stand. See if he kind of stands, which he doesn't really want to. So you're probably going to have to cut off that tip. Um, hmm. Kind of makes me mad that I have to cut off the tip of this thing. Oh gosh, it's not cutting. It's not cutting. Oh, by the way, this is my beautiful tank that I just did. You can kind of, re you can really see it. I'm gonna try to paint it later. I did this um, mini gunner. He's for the red, so he's probably shooting somewhere. Here's the green um, guy with the gas mask on. He's shooting. He'll be shooting at him, coming around the corner, or the tank shooting that way. He's shooting at him. The tan guy and the red guy are probably teamed up, so the tan guy's running in. Yeah, just kind of wanted to show you my extreme ma imagination. Gosh. Oh, I also did the this guy, and this guy's my favorite, the Emma Garand. Y'all can tell me it's Garand or well Garand. That's how you say it. Some people say Garen, some people say Grand. And then for the fun of it, I covered these. I was going to do a ghillie suit, so I covered these two guys in hot glue, and I was going to stick them in the grass somewhere. I didn't, so now they're just, I guess they're polar ice cap. They're in the polar ice caps or something. On a weather station. Oh, gosh. Yeah, while I do this, which, if it was me saying it, I would probably say don't do it, because it's probably, oh, well, I just did it. Wow. All my stuff that I did was in vain. <laughs> it's not really funny, but I did it. I'm laughing for no reason. <laughs> it's kind of a little flame, so say he's just starting the flame up. So we got our little battle. All the greens are kind of angry. Tans are... Tans and the reds are running in with too many gunners. I don't think they're going to survive, honestly. I'm sorry to say it. Uh, you know, you can put the, uh, I don't have any tan tanks, because I, uh, was a little kid, or not little kid, I was just a little younger, and I wanted to turn it into, or turn all my tan tanks into green tanks, because, um, and my friend would come over, we would play tanks, and I just saw it. Saw it. There's no point. There's no point of having tans if they're all on the same side. So yeah. Now I'm less interested in playing an army gun and more interested in collecting.
working. Got this mega ba block. Oh my battery's dying. I got this mega blocks flame, and I think it would look pretty good on a green flamethrower. So yeah, that was kind of a waste of time. Well, not really a waste of time. I'd say it was a pretty good usage of time. I mean, what did I do, really? I mean, come on. I made my own flame, which I didn't paint yet. Sorry for the five people that... Sorry for the one and a half people that are watching this. I just kind of wanted to sprink in, sprinkle in some... Sprink. Sprinkle in some mathematics that I can't do that well. I bet some of y'all can agree with math being tough. And I bet most all of y'all out there can agree that nobody likes math, not even the teacher. The teacher probably doesn't even want to be there. Unless you're homeschooled, which I'm not. Alright, remember this one birthday of mine. Well, it wasn't a birthday at school. I have a birthday on a break. So... My family, or my mom brought in a big thing of sweets. Oh gosh. And my class ate like kings. I think that was fifth grade. So yeah. past tense, it would have been a few years ago, so I don't really know what I mean by a long time ago, it was a few years ago, I'm not going to tell you all because uh, then you all know how old I am and what grade I'm in. Oh, that looks pretty good. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, now I have a flamethrower shooting actual flames. I used to use the flamethrower guy as like a shotgun guy because I didn't really know what, th I thought that was just a backpack on his back, not a flamethrower. And then when I got my first bag of Timmy Army Men, I noticed, hey, that's a flamethrower. And then I got my... Then I... Well, then I got the um, Billy V realistic guys. And I'm like, hey, that's an even better flamethrower. My favorite flamethrower to this day is probably... Uh, see, Marks didn't make a flamethrower, I don't think. They probably did. It's gotta be the original Timmy classic. Uh, this guy keeps on falling over. It's good about the one. I oh gosh. Oh gosh. Good about the one I made is you can twist it and move it, adjust it, twist, bop it, pull it, that bop it toy. Up, pull it, extend it, load it, what, load it, pull it, no, pull it, bam, here you Zip it. Uh, 
I'm sorry if y'all are here um, right now and y'all are watching me. Just sorry. I'm trying to do something. Just dirty up this flamethrower. It's gonna be awesome. Gosh, how long? How? What the heck? Okay. I can just. So I got these um. No, TV on is on in my mom's room right now. So sorry if you hear that non-copyright TV show. That works pretty good. Put a little kickstand down. Yeah, so I got these uh, paper clips, which I use the wire on them. Sorry, I'm itching my foot. It or I'm itching my leg. My leg kind of itches a lot. Or I, I'm scratching my leg. I need to do that. And that's um, what you hear probably. If you see me, you say bye-bye. Oh, I made this guy. He's supposed to be on flat fire, but he bounces. So if you want to turn your army man into a bouncing ball, just waste two sticks of hot glue on him. Remember to unplug your hot glue gun. Gosh, my throat gets dry. Oh, um, if y'all, y'all are still there, <laughs> if you are. I mean, honestly. So, he's got a little kickstand, so he can, uh, uh, s just stand there. And he stands up straight. Works pretty good, honestly. So, uh, I got this extra piece right there. Probably gonna put on a, gosh, ugh. Just burped really loud. Or I just burped. Tried to contain it. Um, sorry for the zero people that are still watching. If you even are watching. I'm going to try to make a kickstand for the other guy. All you need is like one little section. You can always take off more, but you can't add more all, all the time. That bop it was an interesting toy now, wasn't it? That's why people usually uh threw it under bridges. So, um, right as at this second, or at this very moment, I am making a kickstand. Y'all can leave. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna turn off the camera now. So, bye guys.